Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a specific scenario where I found uh, you know something really interesting which we can do with the help of one single table if we are having which is in my case is the superstore. In this superstore what I have is this two uh, multiple columns like segment we have a order count of 2586. Uh, under consumer and then we have these subcategories under subcategories you have different segments and then you have the uh, count of order id for example under consumer uh, so this consumer is present here which is a higher level dimension and then you have the lower level dimension as art as you can see uh, this art is present in this each of this segment so what we are trying to do is we suppose we have a specific condition where we need to search the values from multiple columns like segment and subcategory and provide a final count. So final count will be based on, let's say for example in, in this case, what is the consumer value which is 2586 and then what is the value in rest of the other categories for art, right? So for example, this will be 2586 and when we come to subcategory art, we look at the rest of the two segment, right, like 204 and 138 and give this value out to the user. And in that way, we are not considering this one because consumer is already being uh, taken at in the higher level dimension. So this is some of those, you know, tricky scenarios where we run into the issue. And it comes in the business again and again because uh, business goes with the multiple dimensions and multiple scenarios. So how you can tackle a scenario like this, which I recently tackled. So that is something which I will going to show you. And for that, what I'll do is I will select this and uh, start creating a new measure before that if you are new on my channel then you should know that all of my videos which i create i sh i keep it in a google sheet which is this and in this is if you see all of my previously created 241 videos are present with the title and the link is present in column b the objective behind creating this sheet is so that you can come here search any of my previously created videos related to the different dashboards and all and get the uh, output or get uh, search all of my videos very easily and with the title with the uh, with the link right so that you can jump onto that without any issue so whole idea is you can bookmark you can refer to it whenever you need it i will keep on updating this i am doing it from last uh, two years or so and will continue to do that so make sure you are also utilizing like these folks are utilizing over here all right so with that let's get back to the power bi so here we are into the Power BI and in this uh, what we will going to do is we will going to create a new measure. So let's hit the new measure and let's give this measure uh, consumer consumer art consumer art orders. Let's say this is the one we want to give it right. And now we will start looking at it as to uh, what do we need. So first thing first is uh, this is uh, uh, this is something we will start with the calculate and we will say distinct count of what do we have is the order ID which is superstore order ID as you would expect. And then we have the filter condition where we will need we have to specify the filters. So let's come to the uh, let's come to the next. Uh, over here and provide the filter function and here the fill table is within all just so that no filter is there all super store right and then put a comma and filter expression alt enter now use the search function ser search find the text consumer because that is a level one text we want to identify consumer within the text that means the field that is your segment right start position just leave it blank and when the value is not found just give it blank all right so close this and then use the pipe sign this pipe sign because this is basically saying the or condition and press alt enter again say search right now what do we want to find is art now the second column so this is where you know we have the multiple columns and as you can see you can increase your condition whatever way you like it so within text is subcategory, superstore subcategory, 
um, and then we don't want to specify any start position and if nothing is found then give us blank all right let's fill close the filter and let's calculate consumer art orders okay so let's bring this consumer art order over here in a kpi box consumer art order and what do we get is 2928 so let me bring the calculator over here just so that we can easily calculate the this output from these two tables so what do we have is 2586 so over here 2586 plus oh, not this 2586 plus 2586 and then in the art 204 and 138 because consumer is something we have already considered right so it should not take that 204 and 138 plus 204 plus 138 2928 that means the function that we have written with the objective is useful right so that is what i wanted to show you this particular oh, not this one but this one as to how you can use the search function along with the filter function so you can see there are multiple functions calculate function distinct function filter function all function search function and finally the blank function is is, is getting used because this is what we need to do when whenever we run into a tricky situations like this so that is what it is and now uh, you know how you can achieve this objective so uh, i hope you like it and with that i'll conclude and meet you in the next video with a new topic